Hey everybody, Killer Tia here, and I'm coming for you from the Collectible Gaming Anime Show, and I'm Crystal Rebel, and I gotta say, it did a game really exciting. It's not often that I get to go to one of these things, but when I do, I get really excited because there's like so much to do, like, what am I so much to do? Wait, like, you could say that, that's, you know what I mean, they're like, there are like so many people in right now, and it's only just the beginning. There are like more people coming in every speed. Yeah. We got the vendors over here, we got some game going on here. Marvel vs. Capcom 3 over there. Behind me is the um, anime Bobo 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 Bobo. Give or take a few Bobos. And right there is DDR being played on the machine. I mean, not a machine, on a projector. Oh, look, a Pokemon car. I'm gonna have to take a close look at that in a second. Yeah, but... yeah like I just said earlier. Uh, can I zoom out here a second? Like, there we go. Like I just said, the thing just started right now. There's still more people coming in, so this is gonna be a very exciting day here, so I'm gonna try to keep as much, um, get as much video as I can here and show it off to you guys. Um, and if something wrong, with, if it's something happened with this camera, I have a backup flip camera um, right here. Let me get out of a little sacky thing here. Note to self, gets a better preparation time. There we go, extra flip camera in case the good one dies out with battery. So I'll keep you guys posted and I'll see you I'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> a quick pose or two. Can you do that line for the cartoon series? Well, excuse me, princess. Thank you. <laughs> hey, everybody. Killer Tia here. As you can probably tell, things are getting to be jam-packed already. Like, look at that. More people are in now. <laughs> now there were two old ladies a few seconds ago. I wonder what they went. Anyway, so... Um, anyway, it's not that much new else to be pulled here, but I've got something for a friend of mine here. The Straw Hat, which is based off the head anime and manga series, One Piece. There was a song, Monkey D. Luffy. Monkey D. Luffy, okay. Anyways, I hope my friend will like this hat. It didn't cost too much, but it doesn't matter what the price is, but it's the thought that matters, so. Hope you like it, my friend. Okay, here I am looking at the vendors table here, like, I see a couple of interesting ones here. Like this huge, um, Musha Gundam Mark II. <laughs> Look at that thing. Such a badass robot. Wish I could get it, but it's like, costs like $80 here, so I'm not gonna pick it up here. And then something I never realized that happened, a Bobby Star Trek edition. <laughs> Let's see here. That was Kirk, obviously not a doll. I would assume that's Ken, and that's Bobby right there. Yeah, the rest of these table, of this table, seem to be primarily consisting of Transformers toys. Not a bad choice, they're pretty cool. What's this right here? Well, I'm not sure who this is supposed to be, but he looks interesting. And then we have that Optimus Prime with that from the odd animation show, Transformers Animated. Probably the first Transformers series on television not done in Japan. Okay. I believe this is from one of the Beast Wars series. Um, I don't think, I don't remember him from the series. Maybe an exclusive toy line in Japan or something. And, um, oh, look, a Dragon Ball Kai toy. Oh, that's an instant command mea kit. Oh, it looks like it. The instructions 
at least when the picture shows up doing a Kamehameha. So yeah, this is a doing a Kamehameha kit. Okay, let's see what our let's see if I can get you know videos of other vendor booths. And this is the area where I got my friend's hat at. I can see they also sell um, Gundam models and other mecha models around here. I would love to have some of these, but sadly they're out of my price range now. But yeah, I would definitely love to have that one. From, um, I believe they're from Gundam Double O. Yes, yes, I believe so. There's it right there, Gundam Double O. And that one looks like a Gundam, but that isn't a Gundam. But it almost looks like one. Oh no, the DVDs. More action figures. Bikini Girl. Naruto, Dragon Ball Z. And that, uh, and I met French maid, I think, from the Kobe show Queensbury. Excuse me. And I believe that hat belongs to Luffy's brother. I don't remember his name because I don't follow one piece. Hello, it comes to my attention that I also need to get my friend's girlfriend something, so I got a little um this power statue from Final Fantasy VII. Well, I obviously can't see him too well because he's in this um, plastic bag, but, yeah, but she'll definitely like it. She, she's a big fan of Final Fantasy VII. And I, also, I also have another friend here who enjoys Pokemon so much since ever since it was released in America in 1998. So I got him a little t-shirt that asked him a very simple question. When will it end? Yes, my friend, tell me. When will it end? The world may never know. I am flabbergasted by your entire costume, and I just have to know, who are you cosplaying as? Uh... Well, it's kind of a difficult story. I'm a cock, gr a cock grinding wug fuzzler, and I met my maiden at the Han Hanukkah crash site last year. She had two wooden legs and an eye patch, and I walked up to her because I saw that she was selling footballs, and I wanted to know if she had one in size 9. And she didn't, and then we just kind of <laughs> laughed, and then we got married six years later. I have five daughters. They are all named Samuel. <laughs> Okay, um... Any more questions? No, I think my curiosity at peak at the moment. Okay. Thank you. I'm purple. <laughs> hey, I just got myself a super lucky Japanese grab bag. And it was only $10. Let's see what $10 got me here. Oh, it got me another bag. Wow, impressive so far. <laughs> okay, let's see what's inside the bag here. Right. Yeah. This bag doesn't want to open up. Hold on. Yeah. Okay, let's see what we have here. Mm, nice little um, Japanese doll things. Um, my sister's niece, my, my sister's daughter will like that. Let's see what else do we have here? We have a katina. It's not like something's in there. And we got chopsticks. <laughs> How nice of them. Okay, now let's go on ahead and open this up here. Doing this all with one hand here, so. Please excuse me. Okay. We got Japanese crackers. <laughs> okay, what else is in here? <laughs> ah, Japanese candy. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I got a pretty impressive 
it for ten dollars. Hey everybody, Killer Tia here. Um, it's almost two o'clock here. Things are starting to wind down a bit after the initial morning wash, but. Oh, well, I guess I had I am having a good time at the collect book gaming anime show so far. Um, I've been getting a few things for my friends a lot the past few the last few hours, but I got something for myself too. And here it is, the Superboy from the Hyperkin Company. It's pretty much a portable Super Nintendo system. It looks pretty much almost like a Super Nintendo a Super Nintendo controller. I mean, no, I'll probably be doing a more in-depth review of this later on. But I gotta say, this was a pretty good find for me because when I heard about it, I was very interested in like holding it. So to not be able to own it, it's like a it's pretty good. Anyways, um, I'm not sure if. I'll be getting, I'm not sure I'll be getting any more footage from this convention, but um, if I do, I'll be sure to capture them on film. See you later. Here and um, I'm probably gonna call it a day here at the collectible gaming and anime show because it's starting to die down a little bit. As you can probably see, um, some of the vendors are already shutting down shop here. And plus, I have my fun fill day here. I love do here, and and although I didn't get to record as much as I did, I think I got enough footage here to keep you guys entertained. Um. Funny, interesting note here, um, this convention was being held in the National Guard Armory, so thanks to the National Guard for donating this, for donating the base for this convention. Thank you. And thank you for keeping our country safe, National Guard. Um, anyway, so this kid here, signing off, and I hope you enjoyed this little um, video series I did today. Adios. Thank <laughs> you.